What is up guys, it's The Real Deal, welcome back to the channel. Guys, Polarium have been getting so much heat recently, more than usual. Um, I think a big part of that is because of Jay Giggs calling them out. And there's a lot of stuff that I agree with, but I, today I sort of want to talk about quality life changes or, you know, the big changes that Raid really need to do to make Raid great again. And the first one for me has to be Shards. The, the Mercy system is so weak. Um, I think that, you know, for Ancients, they should probably put the Mercy system down to, I would say, 100. Um, yeah, 100, I think, sounds pretty reasonable to me. And the same for Voids as well. Drop that down to 100 because with Void Shards, if you're like, well, every player can only earn without spending money, 400 Void Shards a year. And the odds are that you can only get like two Void Champions a year. That is that is ridiculous. Um, it's just, yeah, you know, you want the game to be enjoyable. You want it to be fun. And I don't see the big issue with, you know, why can't everyone get Void Champions? Like, if you're a big spender, of course, you are going to have more Voids than everyone and you are going to have the pick of the bunch. But... For everyone else, you know, it just really holds you back and it just it gets me down. It gets me down. Uh, primals, um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about primals at the moment. Um, they're still sort of new to the game. I've not pulled my primals yet. And I think they've been out for three months now. And, you know, I still want to hold off till there's a two times on. And I probably will wait till I've got 100 primals. So hopefully you'll get one mythical champion. But even like the rates for a, a mythical 0.5. Um, and I'm guessing at the moment it looks like we get about eight, this is like end game champion. Uh, sorry, end game player. You're looking at about, you know, slightly more than 10 a month. So 120 a month. You might not even pull a mythical champion in a year. And then if you do pull two, so that'll be 20, 20 months of pulling mythical shards then you get a chance of mercy what what are you thinking it's just it's a joke it really is uh sacreds um i'm actually fine with sacreds um i think they could maybe wow so it's after 12 summons without a legendary so i did um a 25x recently and i pulled 75 sacreds and i think i got four legendaries and it it was painful really really painful so for me i think they should probably drop this down to eight i think eight sounds reasonable to me so the next thing on the list that i think needs a massive rework is soul stones so soul stones i i kind of enjoy it it's fun pulling them and there's a chance that you might get you know like fully awaken a champion and stuff but the big issue for me at the moment is that Let's just let's have a look at my champion pool. So let's just have a look at the champions we've got. So I've actually got six, uh, four, four legendaries fully awakened. And I know there's content creators like Scratch. I think he's only got two, two fully awakened champions where, OK, I've got two trash champions, two god tier champions. And then I've got sort of five star. I've got one, two, three, four, five, five champions. But they're actually all really really good champion so you know and in, like the things were like player who wants everyone to be using awakened champions you know curse city you need awakened champions for shogun you need awakened champions and like for arena as well like awakened champions it's the big big thing and if it takes you a year i think i think it's been out a year now a year to get four awakened champions two that you use you know that's just shocking. It re really, I think, I feel like you should be able to fully awaken one champion a month. I think that sounds reasonable. Um, even like one and a half months, I'd be fine with that because there's so many champions that you need. Like, you know, I need champions for Hydra. Tag Arena is like, so Hydra, you need 18 champions. Tag Arena, you need 12. And, you know, the list goes on. You just need so many more champions nowadays. And, you know, look, look how many champions that I don't have awakened, like legendaries. 
I have probably almost more legendaries not awakened than I do awakened. Um, it's just it's just a joke. Um, so yeah, so for me that is a huge huge one that they need to work on. The tavern, the tavern for me, I think the thing that annoys me the most about tavern is like champion training, and just to like say um i want to feed like champion i can do six at a time and it just takes so long and yeah i just think other games you know if you look at other games if you want to level up champions through your tavern it's so much easier and so much quicker and it's just painfully slow it, it really is um I've got no problem with ascending or ascend actually ascending as well. Like, you know, I've seen these animations a hundred times. If I've got a champion, that I just want to flat out six star. I should just be able to tick and just six star them straight away. That's it. I don't need to see the glowy animation 20 times. Um, skills, no problem with that. And no, no, no real problem with up, uh, with the ranking. It's more just to do with, how slow it is to to just feed through champions and then my next gripe is sort of energy and new content i'm gonna sort of throw it throw it together so i think the energy cap should be moved you know it's it's 2023 going on to 2024 come on guys get with the times like i'm level 100 why this i feel like they could bump this up to 200 like with the amount of new content there is now you know we've got sand devil we've got shogun we've got the normal dungeons we've got minotaur we've got potion keeps and we've got iron twin fortress it all needs to be farmed and it's just so hard to sort of stay on top of it and and keep keep on balance and stuff and i think one thing that annoys me is like so i'm trying to build a stage 10 team that's 100 success rate without cardinal without uh, prince kaimar very very difficult to do and i have burnt so much energy trying to trying to do a team for this and what i think they should do is um i know back in the day like if you wanted to progress in the game yes it costs you energy but i think they should let us do free runs so you know i could you don't get but in exchange you don't get you don't get silver and you don't get gear but you can like test out new teams on on different stages because i just think it's just really like unfair like you know i'm trying to make content for you guys and just to burn like i must have spent like at least 2000 energy which doesn't sound a lot but it is if you're free to play that is extremely painful um and yeah so i just feel like they should just sort of let us be able to farm dungeons for free just to test out new team comps or new teams and stuff and then when you want to start farming again you can just switch back on energy i think i think that is a good way to go and then something i think that everyone can agree on is you know like every every most like normal computer games that i've always played there's never been a problem with silver normally the problem is that you just end up with almost like infinity silver and you know you've always got loads and loads of money you've got more money than what you know to do with whereas obviously raid is the complete opposite and it's a struggle to to stay on top of your silver but for me what i'd love is could we just swap our gear for free um i know this month they let us sort of uh, switch gear for three days which was nice for curse city but then you know we're all going to run into the issue of um, you know, this is rotation one, there's rotation two, rotation three, and there's we have only got so much gear on our accounts um, that you're just going to not be able to do stuff and it's going to be frustrating. So for me, I really feel like they should just make swapping gear for free. And, you know, we all make mistakes. Um, you know, you like my, my own with Death Knight originally, he had, I put like speed and accuracy on him um because he's not quite six star so i wanted him to land sheep so because of that i put a bit of accuracy on him and i also put a bit of speed because he does land you know he does have some he can provoke he can do fear he can do decrease attack so that's sort of 
the, that was the logic behind it. But now there's I've got now I use him with Wukong. You know, I've taken away a lot of that speed, um, and I've also built him with like a bit more damage, more defense, and just making him slower and more tanky. And you know, and there's loads of thick times where people will build a champion a certain way. Like I've I had my Wukong in an immunity set, and I was using him as a support champion. And I was using him to strip and stuff and to sheep. And it was amazing. And I really, really enjoyed it. But then I fully maxed it. I managed to get like full red stars from really, really lucky. And I was like, well, you know, he absolutely smacks. Let's try him in Soul Reap. And now I'm kind of regretting it. For me, on my account, I think I actually prefer support Wukong to Nuki Kong. So, you know, it just really, for me, it like limits the game. And, you know... Uh, in, in my opinion, I would love, you know, if people can just build champions however they want, it means that there's more freedom to people to experiment, to, to make the game more fun. You know, because at the end of the day, that's what the game should be about, is just having fun. And for me, having that silver restriction with the gear costs is too much. But yeah, I don't know what, what, what you know, what, what gripes you guys, what really gets on your tits. Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I've been the real deal. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.